officially the first time I joined this Britzone meeting. I hope to be able to join until the end. Thank you so much, Ka, for your time. And also, I hope you My have pleasure. a great I hope you have a great time joining our class today. Okay, and also once again, I want to say hi to Ka Hanna. Hanan, I'm sorry, pardon. Uh, hello, Kahanan. Hello, Ka. Have you been to Bridgestone before? No, it's first time for me. <laughs> Welcome to Bridgestone, Kahanan. Thank you. Um, how do you know about Bridgestone, Ka? Tell us, please. Uh, I this is my first week uh, staying in Jakarta, and I'm uh, I'm trying to king the community uh, English community in internet, and I'm uh, on a Bridgestone. Wow, oh, that's great. Thank you, Ka. And also, I hope you have a great time with us today because today the topic is really interesting and we have an amazing conductor, Ka Rama. So guys, before we move on to the next session, I will share some information about Bridgestone. Let me share the screen, everyone. Okay. Can you see the screen, everyone? Not just yet. Still progressing. Okay, what about now? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, guys. Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to the largest English community, Bridge Zone. Oh, wait, guys. Thank you for being here. Uh, okay, please wait everyone because there is a trouble here. Okay guys, please wait because there is a trouble with my laptop. I... What about? But now, guys, can you see the screen? Yes, my yeah. dad's okay. Yeah. I can see the screen. Okay, wait, Amanda, everyone. Let me, let me handle the announcement. Okay. Thank you, Karama, for helping. Wait, guys. Okay, thank you so much, Karama, for backing up. Uh, welcome to the largest English community, guys. So, next, Karama. Okay, so we have free speaking classes. If you want to join us, we are free of charge. You can come to our class, and all of us in Bridgestone are volunteers. So, we are very happy to help you improve your English skills. Next, Karama. We have three classes in a week. The first one is Bridgestone Speaking Academy or Bridgestone Tuesday class. It starts at 7 p.m. And this class is uh, mostly focused on public speaking, such as speech, debate, and interview. The next one is uh, Bridgestone Wednesday class or Bridgestone English Betterment series. It also starts at seven and it touches the four skills of English, Listening, reading, writing, and speaking. And lastly, we have Bridgestone Fun Day class every Saturday at 11 a.m. Uh, if you want to practice English in a fun way, uh, please join our Saturday class. Next. You can also stay connected with Bridgestone by following our social media. We have Instagram at Bridgestone ID. We mostly share the information about our class and other events through our Instagram. And also don't forget to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel because if you missed our previous class, you can watch them back in our YouTube channel. And also we have Twitter, Clubhouse, and we have a website. And lastly, we have Bridgestone's podcast where you can listen to our amazing stories on Spotify. Next step. And as a nonprofit organization, we also have Bridgestone merchandise. If you are interested in buying our merchandise, you can visit our Instagram page at Bridgestone Merch. And also you can contact the contact person in this following number. 
Next step. We are sponsored by Perpustaka Adikbut, the Library of the Education and Culture Ministry. You can become the members of the library and access various book and audio collections. Next. At the end of the class, or usually after the end of the presentation, we are going to take some pictures. So make sure to turn on your videos, guys, and give your best smiles. And please give us your feedback. We will share the feedback link in our WhatsApp group. Thank you, guys, for listening to the announcement. Let's move on to the next session. This is the one that you have been waiting for. So, yeah, I just want to say hi to our amazing conductor, Kak Rama. Hello, Kak Rama. Hi, Kamanda. Okay, so How are you today? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. What about you, Kak? I'm doing great. I'm in a hotel right now. Uh, I'm sorry, everyone, uh, because I just uh, got out of a meeting uh, and I don't have time to come home. So I'm doing great on here. <laughs> Hey, thank you so much, Karama. Uh, Karama is our uh, also part of Bridgestone Committee, and he has extensive experience in becoming MC and also moderator. So, without further ado, I'll give the screen to Karama. Okay, thank you, Kamanda. So, hi everyone, welcome to Bridge Bridgestone Tuesday class. Uh, it's a public speaking class, basically, right? Uh, that's why I. Uh, I think it's really relevant for me to um, give out some tips on uh, my job. <laughs> so, what is my job exactly? Um, I'm proud to say that I believe I have the best job in the world, at least for me. I think, uh, I believe when, with, when I think about uh, the best job in the world, it's not just about um, the one that gives you the most cash, um, but it's one that fuels your heart. Um, so I have been a professional speaker for the past four years, but um, I have been um, very uh, into it just um, for the past couple of months and I have never been happier because I know that uh, every day I woke up and I'm, and I'm about to do something that I love. Um, and you know, there are a lot of uh, kinds of events, right? So I identify myself, uh, my specialty is on the formal and semi-formal events. Uh, because I'm I'm a very awkward person in person uh, in real life, so I think I I'm not confident enough to run like a birthday party or or any other fun um, events. You know that's just not me. <laughs> I for the past uh, four years I have been uh, very focused on hosting um, events like seminars or conferences or symposium um, and any other, you know, that, those kind of stuff. And the reason why I love hosting uh, those events, especially seminars or webinars, uh, because one, it's free knowledge. It's literally every day is different. Um, like uh, one, uh, even in in two in one day if i have two jobs like in the morning i could um, listen to people talking about this actually uh, in this picture this picture was taken on the same day <laughs> uh, the first uh, this one is uh, when i when i hosted um, an event a national meeting a national business meeting about uh, spices in in celebes or sulawesi uh, I got to learn about how the youth can be more uh, involved in the export of our spices, you know. And then um, at, at the same day, I can talk about um, I can talk about T twenty, uh, talk about the One Health system. If you are uh, aware of One Health, and I and Tomorrow, actually, I'm going to uh, host an event that discusses about pre-diabetes. So it's 
really every day is different and every day i am very lucky to be able to get new information um and become more insightful uh, day by day and the reason too why i love the second reason why i love my job is because it's challenging but it's predictable at the same time um every seminars or webinars their the content uh, usually is pretty much the same but it's always different it's always different because it's a different topic different organizer different people so there's always um obstacles here and there um but it's still very exciting to um to host an event like that so um as i said i have been in the industry for uh, four years and i have learned a lot from um, doing my job it does not only impact my personal my professional life but also my personal life so the first um, lesson is my job has taught me to be more disciplined and neat um, when i say discipline it's uh, about time uh, time management you know because i it's uh, it's how i manage my time so i don't come late you know i, I keep on hearing um, the other the other mcs uh, come come to the event for like um, 15 minutes or uh, 10 minutes before the event starts but i like to be um i like to be there for like an hour before because i want to be more prepared uh, and see the atmosphere of the event and also um neat and my job has taught me to be adaptive to changes because uh, seminars or webinars are very prone to changes uh, the, the we have rundowns but we are never stick to the rundown you know uh, so there's always changes here and there um, even not only the last minute but the last second you know so i have to be able to adapt to the changes and actually came up with with a backup strategy and then my job has taught me that it's okay for boys to wear makeup in fact i'm wearing her pickup right now because it's more of like um my duty it's my job to serve for the uh, to serve only the best you know because i know that um um my face I, i'm not the cutest person in the world you know so i need to i need to uh, make more effort including uh, wearing makeup or um dress uh, in a more um more stylish you know more more neat um and also i exercise it's actually uh, the reason why i exercise i work out a lot is not um it's not just because i want to be healthy or i want to um look good in a, in every clothes but it's because it's a part of my job <laughs> because um working out uh it it increases my stamina it increases my power because being a, being an mc uh, being a speaker in general is very very tiring um so i need to maintain my mood and my stamina um i think uh, everybody who who has been an mc before ha understands that you need to be standby for like the whole event you know even if you're not doing anything even if you're not speaking you're just listening to the speakers to the other speakers but you have to uh, be standby right so you have to uh, maintain your stamina um, and also maintain your mood you know don't ever let anyone ruin your mood for the for the um, one hour or two hours before the show starts that's why um and then the event is I need to understand that the event is not about me, even though it, I am hired to be the, sh the host of the show, but essentially the show is not about me. You know, I'm just, I, I got hired to guide the event, you know? Um, so I need to know uh, when to speak and, and when not to speak. And then 
um, my job has taught me to not take everything personally. Um, and by this, I mean, um, as an MC, you will get a lot of uh, feedbacks from your clients or from your audience. Um, the feedback sometimes it's positive and sometimes it is not. It's not positive, you know. Sometimes it's negative. Sometimes it's rude. Sometimes it's offensive. But it's your job to not take everything personally um, and and take the essence of that critic so that you can perform better. And then I am my own guard. Uh, and by this, I mean, so this is actually from my experience. Um, so I, <laughs> I don't want to offend anyone, but um, oftentimes when I, when I host uh, an event that is attended by um, a very a very respected person a VVIP let's say uh, like a pejabat they bring their protocol officer and and the protocol officer is very pushy they're very pushy and they are not afraid to intimidate you <laughs> I've been there uh, and that's why I said uh, that I am my own guard I know what I'm doing I know the event I am I know the event best I know the event better than they are so I just hear what they need but I implement um, it in my own way you know so that's it I am my own guard just don't take everything personally don't let don't let the intimidation or the push from everyone um, hurt you and ruin your mood ruin your stamina ruin your power for the whole day um, and lastly, my job has taught me to always stay calm and be present. Nah, uh, so everything is kind of interrelated with one another uh, about being my own guard, not taking everything personally. Um, and then this, uh, in here, I say to stay calm and be, praise, be present. So when I say stay calm, uh, it's more about when you are being adaptive to changes. Uh, when changes are happening, are happening, a lot of people tend to be panic. You know, oh my God, I should do this. You know, I should do that. Meanwhile, what you really need to do is just to stay calm and think what's best. You know, uh, just to skip one or two seconds, take one or two seconds to think, be calm. You know, when changes are happening, um, and then be present means that when you speak when you speak you know that your mind is here just like what i do now i am speaking uh, in bridge zone right now so my mind is for bridge zone 100 percent i am not thinking about um the other day when um when one of my clients uh, were angry at me or i'm not i'm not uh, thinking about tomorrow's event i am 100 percent committed to what i do now to stay present you know actually being calm and present is um is a part of being mindful if you if you have heard the term being mindful it helps a lot okay so uh that's all of my um what is it my the values that i have um that I have learned from the past four years. And now talk about, let's talk about the differences between seminar and webinar from the MC point of view, okay? So for the seminar, in the offline seminar, um, they tend to be more intimate and more interactive because you, because you can literally can talk with the audience, right? But it's more costly means that as an MC, um, it takes effort to get to the venue. Um, it takes time. Um, and sometimes transportation is not cheap. <laughs> it means that you have to spend more, you know, uh, when you're hosting a seminar. And uh, when I say hosting a seminar, um, it's oftentimes it's not just about hosting, but also attending the meeting, uh, attending the rehearsal, you know, for one event, uh, I can um, 
I can go up to like two or three meetings before to make sure that everything uh, goes perfect, you know. So it's more costly in a way. Uh, on the other side, on web, in the webinar, it's more flexible and more convenient. Um, just like what we do uh, here, I think uh, it's a privilege really to have the internet because uh, if there's no internet, I don't think we can have people uh, from the another part of uh, Indonesia or uh, the other part of the world joining its own right now. And then um, more participants, uh, but most of them are invisible, invisible like we have today. Um, not everybody um, wants to open their camera, camera, right? So I don't get to see their faces, uh, the expressions and everything. And then the limited interaction and dehumanized feel because I just feel like uh, hosting webinar is fun. It is fun, but it's just, it doesn't feel natural. Just like uh, what we used to having um, conversations in real life, right? Um, and then webinars are very prone to technical challenges. Yes, seminar also have uh, technical challenges, but webinars are just more risky in a way. So um, I think we have had webinars for the past like what, two years. I don't think we have, uh, well, there are, but it's not really common to have webinars before the pandemic, right? Um, so, and now, um, thank God that the pandemic is kind of uh, loosen up a bit. Uh, now we have uh, two different kinds of webinar. So the first one is uh, this one right here. Can you can you see the the arrow? My right. Um, so this is what I do when I. This is not me, obviously, right? <laughs> Does anyone know who she is? Does anyone know who she is? No. Uh, who said that? Uh, who answered? I can. I can. Husna. Yes, exactly. Zifana Leticia Siregar. Uh, she's actually one of my role model in um, public speaking um, area because she is just so. She is. She, um, she can talk um, in various topics. You know, she is very smart lady. So this is what I do uh, when I host a webinar. Uh, at home, you know. So I have uh, in here, you can see lightings, obviously. It's uh, lightings uh, is very essential. <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, lighting is very essential. And then I have my main screen. And then uh, on, my, on my side, I have my phone st uh, on standby uh, to know if there is any changes or any new information from the committee, you know. Uh, so if you are planning to host um, a webinar, please be prepared not only for your laptop, but also for your phone or have two laptops um, standby. It's all up to you, but have one device on standby uh, for coordination. It's very important. And I also usually have uh, like, uh, my book, my notebook, and my pen. Also, my water here. Never, never skip my uh, my water. Okay, that's that's when I host a webinar at home. But I'll, but in these days, they also have a webinar that requires the host to go to the studio, and they will air the webinar. Uh, you know, like online on the Zoom, uh, and the ones uh, and the ones that I just uh, mentioned, it is more flexible and more convenient. Um, but and and it it feels cooler. <laughs> it feels cooler for me to to host um, uh, to to host like the what is it that kind of webinar where where I have to go to the studio anyway. Um, that's it. And then the main job, uh, okay. So let's talk about the MC and moderator. 
So MC is responsible for the show, the whole show, right? Uh, and the whole event as it unrolls on the day, just like Amanda uh, today, uh, she's responsible for the show. Uh, so if I, as a speaker, got lost uh, for uh, unstable connection, Amanda will take over, you know? And then uh, the moderator, uh, the moderator, uh, he or she guides the discussion session if there is any uh, discussion. Uh, so I think in a way, Amanda is doing uh, the two job, both both of them, uh, as the MC as, as well as the moderator for the whole show, right? Okay, let's talk about more technical um, in here. Let's talk about the MC first. So when you host uh, an event uh, as the MC, you introduces the presenters, the session, and important activities at an event. Um, you just have you only have to mention them. Don't get too specific because it's not your job. It's not your job. <laughs> just uh, mention that today we are going to have a very um, a very fun discussion on uh, why Superman is better than Batman. Let's say, right? Uh, just mention the topic. Don't um, you don't have to um, talk it through specifically. MC also shares the important information, uh, like mentions to uh, fill in, fill out the attendance link, uh, maybe, or please uh, keep your camera video on throughout the event, stuff like that. And also, MC keeps everyone on time. Means that uh, MC is, uh, he or she has the power of through, uh, throughout the event, right? So the MC has to keep everyone on time and actually remind the moderator or the speaker that the time is up um, and stuff like that, you know. Usually, uh, an organizer also has a timekeeper to do that very particular job, but the MC can also do that. Now let's move to the moderator. So the job of the moderator uh, is to guide the discussion session. The moderator makes certain uh, that the discussion happens without problems and follows the rules, as well as moderator prepares for the question, take notes and summarize the whole discussion. So as a moderator, you are, um, you are literally got paid, you got paid to take notes. You got paid to be smart, to be knowledgeable about the topics that you are going to bring. So when you are um, given the chance to moderate an event in a very specific topics, make sure that you excel at the topic. Um, even if you're not, just take a quick research uh, and at Google, you know, to to be more famil familiar with the topic. Because um, at the end of the day, at the end of the the when the speaker uh, has. When the speaker has uh, finished uh, his or her presentation, you are going to deliver the summary, right? So you have to be knowledgeable. Actually, this uh, aligns with my um, next um, slide. It's a bit about the characteristic. Let's talk about the moderator first. So first of all, it's knowledgeable and curious. Curious. Why curious? Because you are so uh, essentially in every seminar, there is a question and answer session, right? So um, you are lucky if the if you have a supportive audience who wants to ask question. <laughs> Many don't. So the the audience will literally just go silent and they will deliver no question at all and it is your job to prepare for backup question prepare for one or two question you know but if you are really curious you can ask for more you can prepare for more question but it's it's literally your job to um, take notes to uh, prepare for backup question as well as giving summary and then uh, you have to have the ability to improvise because um, this is very specific because um, 
So the MC of the event, he or she may have a script to um, as, as like, yeah, you know, a script as the guidance for the events. Meanwhile, moderator uh, tend to, they don't have any script at all. They just go along with the, uh, with the discussion because um, even though some events have their uh, key points that they would like to deliver, but most of the time, uh, there are new points or new topics that arises on that uh, discussion. So as a moderator, you have to listen to the whole presentation, to the whole discussion, and um, able to improvise for your summary, uh, for your question and everything. And um, obviously to have strong credible skills to, to enhance your, um, your performance as a moderator. Now let's talk about the characteristic of an MC. MC should be personable, personable, should be energetic and enthusiastic. You, you may have heard that um, MC is, uh, MC's job is to set the tone of the event, you know. So an MC should know what the event uh, should be like. Um, for example, um, in Bridge Zone, we have a Saturday fun day class, right? Uh, the Saturday class. The, the title literally says fun day class. So uh, if I uh, get to MC the Saturday class, I want to be an MC that is who is energetic, who is enthusiastic about the about the topic. You know, even though I am not, uh, as I said uh, previously, I am very awkward in real life. But as an MC, I have to be. I have to represent the event. That's why if you uh, have uh, came to the previous Saturday class, I often make uh, some gimmicks with having like um, a funky virtual backgrounds or having costumes and everything. That's just me being enthusiastic, you know, and represents me as the MC who, who, um, who is enthusiastic about, about the event, you know. And then MC should have the ability to improvise. It's actually the same thing with the moderator. And um, an MC should be organized. Um, it is related to the previous uh, slides about being um, like a timekeeper. So MC should uh, be organized means that he or she must um, understand uh, the exact rundown because it's literally their job, their job to, to what, what is it, to, to guide us as the participants to go to each one of the session. Okay, so uh, that's actually just the opening. Now let's get technical. Does anyone know the the reference that I'm trying to make here? If if you do, you're old. <laughs> um, so let's just get into it. So uh, this is very uh, like the basic content for all uh, MC seminar. So you are so you are going to make an opening, um, welcoming all the guests and speakers. Uh, okay, so before I'm going to um, dive more into this, I really encourage all of you, all members, to pay attention to this one because it is going to be related to the FGD session. So please uh, pay attention. Okay. So as the MC, this is like the basic opening, uh, uh, the basic content that you are going to do. So you would like to open the discussion. Um, we would like to welcome all of the guests, all of the Brit owners that have attended uh, to the class and welcome to the Brit Zone Tuesday class. Uh, my name is Rama as the master of ceremony for today's event. And today we are going to talk about blah, 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 blah. Okay, uh, that actually covers the opening and then they introduce uh, myself. Don't, don't forget to introduce yourself, okay, because uh, it's very important. And then have a bridging to tell a little bit about the event. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that all of us have 
um, known what we are going to talk about, but today we are going to uh, go deeply about um, how to master, how to understand the job of um, an MC and a moderator. And for the discussion, is going to be led by a moderator that I am um, guiding to the next um, content right to introduce the moderator. The discussion will be led by a moderator who is blah, 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 blah. Uh, it's the resume. Uh, you're going to read about the resume of the moderator. And then you say, please welcome, blah, 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 the moderator. And then the moderator will take over the um, the event. But you have to be standby because in a webinar, you will never know if the um, moderator has uh, trouble with his or her connection. You are going to take over. That's it. And then uh, you are going to bridge uh, one content to another and eventually have the closing. And then uh, for the moderator, uh, these are the basic content. So you would like to introduce yourself. Um, so after the MC has given you the time to, um, uh, given you the event, you know, uh, to for you to take over the event, you would like to reintroduce yourself. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rama and I'm going to serve as the uh, moderator for, today, for tonight's discussion. Tonight's, uh, tonight's discussion is very interesting because it is very relevant for all of us. Um, oftentimes, we are going to be asked to uh, to guide an event, whether it's being an MC or being a moderator um, for our company, for our job, for for instance. Uh, for instance, so uh, in today's discussion, we are going to make sure that all of us uh, can understand what's the essence of. Um, the job of an MC and a moderator, and <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, and then before we are going to introduce the speaker, oh my God, I'm sorry. Um, I would like to remind everyone that by the end of the session, we are going to have a Q&A session. So please uh, listen to the uh, speaker and prepare your best question. If you have any question, just uh, send the question to the chat box or you may want to um, deliver the question by yourself. Just activate the, the um, what is it? The raise, the, uh, raise a hand feature and then we will give you the chance to deliver uh, your, um, your question with your camera video. So the session is, uh, so I would like to introduce uh, today's um, speaker. He or she is blah, 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 blah. This is a time when you read the, resum uh, the resume. Please welcome, blah, blah, blah. That's it. Um, and then you are going to <clears throat> um, make sure that you understand the, the discussion as well as you you uh, prepare for the question. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I hope everybody is healthy, okay? So you don't have to have a cough like me. Um, and then you are going to um, prepare for the summary because once the speaker is done, you are going to say thanks. Thank you so much for Ka Amanda for a very insightful session. Uh, so to point out a little bit about what she uh, talked about tonight. Uh, so as an MC, you have to blah, 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 blah. Thank you so much. And now we are going to enter the Q&A session, uh, stuff like that. Uh, and then you are going to give the event back to the MC. Okay. Uh, I have mentioned uh, previously, I have mentioned about introducing the speakers or the moderator. So uh, these are the hacks uh, that I would like all of us to understand. Um, so um, there is no exact way to, to introduce uh, like the moderator or to introduce the speaker. However, there is kind of like a pattern that you can, that you can um, apply, you know? So first thing first, 
uh, know about the person you are going to introduce. Google them. <laughs> Google them. Be familiar with them. Okay? And then cross-check. If you have their resume, don't forget to cross-check everything. You can ask to the person or you can Google it uh, about their um, past job experience or their degree or anything. And then you have to rehearse. Rehearse with actually saying the words with your voice, not just mumble it with your uh, mouth or just have it uh, in your head, but actually rehearse because you will never know that um, the the academic degree uh, maybe or the um, the job title can be very confusing sometimes. So you want to rehearse it, and then. Uh, Make it sound like you are telling their life story and not just summarizing their experience. And then you don't have to read everything that's written on the resume. So um, when you are um, hosting a webinar, especially uh, when your speaker is um, a very respected person with a lot of experience, they, they will give to you like a five page of a resume filled with their accomplishment. Of course, you are not going to, you don't want to read all that because ain't nobody got time for that, right? So just make it simple, make it neat, just uh, state uh, the most relevant points, okay? Um, okay, actually that's it. Um, so, but before we are going to jump to the FGD session, I would like to um, show you a little bit about the about the example, okay? About one confusing uh, CV. But before that, uh, I just want to make sure is everybody with me uh, tonight? Is everybody still listening? Yes, Scott. Yeah. Okay. Yes, we are. I hope so. Uh, if if you're not, then why why bother coming? Okay. Anyway. Um, this is one very particular <laughs> um, resume that I made up. This is very specific and very weird <coughs> because this person right here, let's say the name is Kamanda. Okay, Kamanda. Uh, so Kamanda is uh, an actor, uh, a dancer, an activist who has uh, interest in public affairs uh, issue. You can see uh, in her CV, she, uh, so recently, she uh, is very active in, uh, in the arts, you know, as a founder of Theater Jakarta, as a, as a dancer, perhaps. But she has a past of uh, filled with um, publications. So it's very uh, different, right? It can, it can be uh, unrelated. So uh, what you do is that you take uh, one or two, you, you, you only take the relevant points. Uh, for example, the, the event that you are hosting right now is about, um, is about the arts. So you, so you only want to mention uh, the founder of Theater Jakarta or founder of Sanggar Lenong Jakarta, you know, uh, you may want to state just a little bit, just generally about the public uh, affairs issue. Uh, in, uh, for example, like this. Um, aside from um, uh, Ka Amanda, uh, sorry, our moderator, sorry, sorry, our speaker, <laughs> uh, our speaker, uh, she has she has worked in in several. Uh, firms uh, in Indonesia, as well as publishing uh, some journals, uh, articles, and public affairs issue. Uh, however, she is now active in uh, Sangar Lenong Jakarta as a trainer, and also as Theater Jakarta Luar Biasa as a trainer. So, please welcome our speaker, Ka Amanda. You know, this is actually one tip that um, that uh, I haven't mentioned yet. So if you 
read, if you're reading a resume, you, if you're introducing a speaker, you want to mention their name last. Don't ever mention their name uh, in, the, in the beginning because you want to have that, you want to bring that um, surprise element, you know, even though the name is, is stated on the resume, but you want to make, uh, still make like a surprise element. So it's about the art of, um, that's the art of uh, reading a resume. Also, if you uh, found a resume that has like a summary here uh, on the top, Indonesian actor, dancer, activist, blah, 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 you can read that, but don't um, don't focus on that only. Uh, you know, you you have to read the whole uh, uh, the whole section. You know, you have to mention about the education, the filmography, publication, work experience, and everything. Um, and then, uh, of course, this is like very obvious. You don't have to mention about the phone the email the address uh, and actually the you uh, oftentimes we are uh, you have uh, you found a resume with uh, tanggal lahir tanggal lahir can be very tricky sometimes because um, not everybody would like to have their birthday um, stated so it's better if you ask to the person himself you know that's actually uh, all of the materials and now we are going to enter the FTD session guys uh, and before that I'm going to give it back to Kamanda as the MC right thank you so much Karama for sharing your insight about MC and also about moderator uh, thank you guys for still tuning in in our uh, webinar today. I hope you guys learned something and can apply the tips that have been shared by Karama. So moving on to the next session, we're going to have a Q&A session. But before that, let's take some pictures, everyone. Would you mind to open the cameras, please? Uh, Kakoko, our host, would you help us to take the pictures before we move on to the Q&A session? Okay, guys, we, we're going to take pictures. So let me see how many pages we have. Okay, we have two pages. Okay, so I will count one, two, three. One, two, three, smile. Okay, once more, one, two, three, smile. Okay, second pages. One, two, three, Smile. Okay, once again, one, two, three, smile. Thank you, back to Amanda. Thank you, Kakoko, for leading the photo session. So it's time for us to have a Q&A session. Uh, we only accept three questions since we have limited time. If you guys have any questions, you may ask to Kak Rama. Uh, you may raise your hand and unmute yourself. Okay, so Kahanan, go ahead. Okay, thank you, Kamanda. Hi, Karama. Nice to meet you today, and thank and I will say thank you for your sharing. It's so very amazing. So I have the question for you. Uh, how you manage if you feel nervous before you got a uh, session in uh in an event? Thank you. Okay. Um, about controlling my nerve i got i i got nervous uh, obviously i still got nervous um but um i rehearse <laughs> i rehearse and and for me uh one thing that the nerve the nerve is still going to be there i'm still going to be nervous but one thing that helped me to um to to think better is by having like what is it? Everything that I need um, near me, uh, like when I'm hosting a webinar, uh, like at home, I I want I want I want to make sure that I have a uh, lots of lots of water near me. I have my notebook. I have my pen. I have my sticky notes. I have my um, 
what is it? I have my phone on standby for coordination. I also would like, I want to make sure my coffee is, is there for me to grab. So <clears throat> the nerve is going to be there, but I got less anxious if I, if I understand, if I, um, if I have what everything like near me. <laughs> that's that's one thing that helped me actually. Okay, okay. So you must be prepared before you. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's, it can help you to manage your network before. Exactly. The events. Okay. Thank you, Karama. No problem. Next question. Next question. Thank you, Kak Hanan, and also Kak Zaki. Go ahead, Kak Zaki. Okay. Thank you for the time, uh, uh, Miss Moderator. Uh, can anyone hear me clearly? Yes, Kazaki. Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, I just want to, I just want to make sure. Yeah, I just want to. Uh, probably, I just want to know better. What is the difference between, like, the the master of ceremony and the moderator? I just thought that, uh, master of ceremony is just like uh, leading, uh, lead the way from 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 one program to uh, from from one session to another session. I think that's that's the point, isn't it? Of being being an, uh, 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 a master of ceremony is, is like like that, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's that's the way I think, yeah. And 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 MC is only uh, leading the discussion. Is 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 that so? Um, I, I just want to just yeah, I just, just want to just, make sure the the the, the, the difference yeah, yeah, between yeah. the yeah. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay, thank you, uh, Kazaki. Uh, so. Okay, so I think we all understand uh, how MC works. You know, uh, I think what different, uh, what makes it different, is the moderator is only responsible for the discussion session, while the while MC is responsible for the whole show. Moderator only in charge for the discussion, and and it's very necessary for the moderator to know to understand the substance that is being talked about on that webinar. Meanwhile, it is not necessary for the MC to know the substance, you know. Uh, so I think that's that's one uh, very, uh, very um, obvious difference between MC and um, moderator, Kazaki. Okay, thank you for the answer. Back to you again. Okay, next question. Thank you, Kazaki. Next question, Kavalen. Okay. Thank you, uh, Ka Amanda. <clears throat> I want to ask to Ka Rama, have you ever rejected the offer become an MC or moderator because you think you are not capable of? Because you said before, being a moderator, you have to be capable of about uh, the tema. I have actually, Kavalen. Thank you so much for the question. Um, I have, but I forgot about the um, the uh, the exact theme. But um, I have done that once. But after that, I realized that oh man, I I missed that opportunities for nothing, you know. So now I, if literally stranger come to me and ask me to moderate uh, their, their session, it means that they trust me, right? Uh, they know that I have the capability to guide the session. So what I do is that I do my own research. I do my research um, uh, prior to the event. So I make sure that even though previously I have I know nothing about the substance. Um, when I when I guide the session, I know what I am talking about. I know what is what they're talking about. The speakers are talking about. So that's it. Thank you, Kavalen. Okay, thank you, thank you, Tarama. Thanks a lot, Kavalen, for the question. Uh, next, Kak Yastrin. Hello. 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 Um, Kak Rama, thank you for your sharing. Uh, I have a question for you. So, 
Uh, I have, I have experience when I was in college. I am um, become a operator and MC. So my question to you is: Have you ever made a mistake in the middle of hosting, and what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> Who hasn't? <laughs> If you have never screwed up your gig in the middle of the event, have you ever even am seeing? Uh, I think everybody uh, has made uh, mistakes like on stage. I think um, one of the most um, what is it? I actually uh, Kaesin. The reason why I bring up the reading the CV. Um, The reason why I bring that topic to the class is because I have made one mistake that I didn't know um, about. So it was in my first year of um, as an MC. You know, it was back in 2018, perhaps. Um, I was I was in charge to read the CV of the moderator, right? So as the clueless person that I am, I mentioned the, the name of the moderator first you know so uh, as the background uh, in college uh, I, I studied in UNPAD I studied in UNPAD and I am a part of uh, an organization named KPM UNPAD so uh, KPM UNPAD is basically the school of all um, uh, public speakers in UNPAD uh, that yeah. has uh, and we had a very strict uh, rules uh, very particular Um, what is it like pakem uh, and and at that time I was in the first year um, of uh, being a member and I was uh, reading uh, the moderator CV for like uh, like very happily like um, it, it it all goes well or so I thought and then when the event uh, has ended uh, I I was I was Uh, what is it? The the ketua, the president came to me and and basically like I got I got dimarahin. <laughs> so, but uh, from from that from that mistake, I got really conscious about reading somebody's CV, you know, because it's. It's an achievement. Uh, the CV or resume is filled with achievement, right? So you have to respect the CV um, and make sure that you make no mistake while reading um, the CV. The same as when you read somebody's a title or academical degree. That's it. Thank you, Kayasin, for the question. Yeah, welcome. Thank you, Kayasrin. Uh, Karama, if you don't mind, uh, there's one more question from the chat box. Sure. Kaulan Dari says, is that the same moderator with the facilitator it, like in this class? Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, uh, there is, uh, thank you for the question. It's a very nice question. Um, facilit- I think um, there is actually a, uh, a difference between moderator and facilitator. But unfortunately, I... I I forgot about the exact uh, like um, point of difference um, between the facilitator or the moderator. Um, I think it's just the difference is uh, about the outcome. Or oh, what when you are facilitating, uh, you want to make sure that everybody is a discussion. It's more of discussion, right? But uh, and there is usually like a question and answer session. Meanwhile. Um, in a facilit- when you are facilitating um, a group, eh, I'm sorry. When you are a moder- when you are moderating a session, uh, it's basically like uh, a presentation. You you want to make sure that uh, every speaker has the equal chance of presenting, as well as um, answering the question. Meanwhile, when you are facilitating a uh, a group, you don't have that um, that content. You just you just keep on uh, making sure that the discussion goes uh, well and everybody has the equal amounts of uh, input for the discussion. All right, uh, Kaulandari, does it answer your question? 
Thank you, Kaulan dari. Actually, yes. uh, guys, if you notice, we have Gita and Ara. <laughs> Hello, Kak Gita. Hello, Kak Ara. Same from the last Saturday. No, the last two. Yeah, there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for coming again. <laughs> okay, back to Kak Amanda. Thank you, Karama, for answering the questions. Uh, the next session is, we are going to practice to become an MC and a moderator. And there will be facilitators that help you with the discussion. So let me introduce you the facilitators first. We have Kak Dian. Hello, Kak Dian. Hi, hola. Hello, Kak Dian. Uh, thank you, Kak Dian. And also Kak Dina. Hello, Kak Dina. Hi everyone, I hope you guys are having fun. And next we have Kak Arif. Hello Amanda, hi everyone. Hello, Ka lastly we have Kak Arina. Hello Kak Arina. Hello Kak Amanda, hi everyone. Okay guys, you will be divided into small groups and practice to be an MC and a moderator. Kak Koko, are you ready with the breakout rooms? Okay, I'll... Put you in rooms. Be ready. Enjoy the discussion, everyone. See you. See you guys. Make sure that you have fun and speak a lot. Hello, Kadian. You may lead the discussion now. Thank you, Amanda. Hi, everyone. So you, you are in the main room right now and you are being live streamed on YouTube. So please put your best smile. Um, uh, but Dina is still here. Um, is Dina supposed to be here? Hello, Dina. Probably Dina has a connection problem. Okay, so uh, we've got Kak Putri here. Hello, Kak Putri. It's so nice to Hello, see you again. Yeah. It's so okay. nice to see you here. Hi, All right. everyone. <laughs> and Kak Koko, hello there. Hello, Dian. How was your day? I'm good. Mm -hmm. How was yours? It was great. It was great. It was relaxing today. And um, let's go to Kahanan. Hello, Kahanan. Hello, Ka Dian. Hi. I heard that this is your first time being here. Yes. <laughs> so I hope you are having great time today here. Thank okay. you. Your ple uh, my pleasure. All right. So next, uh, Ka Mariani. Hello, Ka Mariani. Hi, Dian. Hello, how are you doing today? I'm pretty good. <laughs> You're pretty good. All right. Yeah. Okay, next uh, we have Kat Joe. Hello, Kat Joe. Hello, Kat Joe. Kat Joe, are you there? Kat Joe, Kat Joe going once, Kat Joe going twice. All right. <laughs> Maybe he's having uh, some technical problems there. All right. So in this main room, guys, uh, we're going to simulate. Okay. Um, so I'm going to pair you up um, since we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And Dina is still here. Is Dina supposed to be here again? Yeah, I was kicked out. Sorry, guys. I'll be in my room. Okay, so you're going to be here then. All right, so I'm going to pay you up, guys. Um, Kahanan, uh, since this is your first time here, I want to give, I want you to do the honor, right? Uh, which one would you like to, uh, which one do you want to pair up with? Uh MC maybe. <laughs> the MC, okay. Kamanda and Kaputri. Um, I wanna be paired up with um Mariani Marzella. Okay, Mariani. So Dina, <laughs> you're gonna be with Kak Koko. 
Dina? Is Dina here or not? Okay. Uh, or maybe Rama, Rama. I don't have to do this, right? <laughs> okay. <What>? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Rama will be um, will be teamed up with uh, Kat Coco. Let me just share my screen quickly. Um, just one second. Uh, let me minimize this, All right? So here, there are two events, okay? One of you is going to be an MC, and the other one will be a moderator, okay? So as has been mentioned by Rama earlier, um, you're just going to mention the relevant information. Okay, let me just close this. Okay, so here, this is the first event. Uh, Jakarta Hajatan, Celebrate Jakarta, Collaboration, Acceleration, and Elevations. And this is the, um, the moderator's resume. So as an MC, your job is to introduce the moderator using this information. Okay. All right. And the next one, the last one is the keynote speaker's resume. So as a moderator, your job is to introduce the keynote speaker. Okay. Uh, do you have any questions, guys? All right. I so, something, uh, Dian. Yep. So, um, uh, if you got the role of moderator, mm -hmm. so guys, uh, here I have, uh, I made the CV with XXX. Uh, just if you are uh, an MC, the MC, fill out the XXX with the name of the moderator, okay? And if you are uh, the moderator, you can say that the name, the XXX is uh, Kak Dian's name. Okay, so the speaker is Dian. Uh, and I also have uh, put he or she, so you can uh, just uh, make, uh, you know, like use he or she, depends on the gender of the uh, moderator or the uh, speaker. Back yeah. to you. And don't forget to use the trick then tips that has been shared by Karama earlier. Okay, so uh, let's just get to the first uh, team, team one, Karama, and then also our first timer. <laughs> Karama, you look shocked. <laughs> All right, uh, Karama, and also Kahanan. Kanan, are you still here? Yes. Okay, so Kanan, um, you're going to introduce uh the key, uh what do you want to be do you want to be the mc or the moderator i will leave it up to you um uh, 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 Dian, sorry for interrupting i think we should give our members uh the chance first maybe kahanan and kajo kahanan and kajo but kajo is not responding uh he's actually here, he's actually kajo. here. she's actually here Ka kajo yeah. can you hear me Yes, I, I hear you. Okay, well, finally. So, hello, Kajo. How are you doing today? Uh, very well, good. Okay, so, Kajo, you're going to be with Kahanan. Okay. Uh, sure, of course. All right, so, do you already know how to play this game? <laughs> Uh, actually, this is also my first time to be here. I mean, well, uh, I just want to know about it first. Okay. Uh, but I would try my best. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. Well, we're so lucky to have two new uh, newcomers here. Okay. So, Kahanan, uh, which one would you like to be? Do you want to be the MC or the moderator? Um, MC. MC. So... MC, okay. So, uh, Ka, Ka Joe, you have no other options. <laughs> you have to become the moderator, okay? So, again, as an yeah. MC, you have to introduce the moderator and also remember the event. Okay, Kahanan, are you ready? Yes. Okay, on the count of three, three, two, one, take it away. Hi everyone, good evening. So let to introduce myself. I am Hanan and here I'm just the moderator ceremony for the event Jakarta Hajatan Celebrate Jakarta, Collaboration, Acceleration, and Elevacy. So in this webinars, 
we get the tales about the reflecting Jakarta leisures as Indonesian capital. So uh, everyone, uh, ladies and gentlemen, today uh, I'm also to introduce you about one from our moderator that will get you in this webinar. So uh, our moderator is uh, Mr. Chu. <laughs> so and the little information about Mr. Chu. Mr. Chu uh, is a star uh, their career as a news reporter at Fritz John TV, uh, starting from July 2015, and uh, he continues uh, her career as senior news anchor at Fritz John TV from July until uh, to, uh, to 2015 until July 2020. So, and currently he works as a co-founder of a Sleep Republic, uh, start from July 2020 until now. So, uh, let's do meet with uh, Mr. Joe. So, Mr. Joe, this is your time. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, speechless. Um, oh my God. May I see the, where is it? The murder rules because I don't see potential before. My okay, Joe, you. as a moderator, <laughs> you have to introduce the keynote speaker okay and this is the oh. relevant information okay oh, okay speaker oh my god mm -hmm. this is... okay okay um thank you so much for your kind attentions uh here's i just uh okay for this big event uh, we have our speakers from OC. And the name is uh, Jonathan Robert. And he was working in the BBC newspaper, something like that. And then he was always uh, at his, he started his career on the 2000s, 2005 as an anchor in BBC. And then after that, he just continued his study to read in, in uh, Melbourne University for newspapers. And now, now he wants to bring up some materials for us, very uh, good material for sure. It's about um, food, uh, how, to, how to make your diet successful for sure. So is it very good for a woman or also for men that want to get diets for specialty, specialty for so those people who want to get diet in healthy way, for sure, something like that. And then here's, uh, he also wants to bring up some of the healthy way from Western to be here, from Asians, to from Western to Asian peoples. And then he's going to be very, very, you know, that's it because I'm quite confused. <laughs> Is, is it is it like that, right? Actually, I don't know where did you come up with all those <laughs> pieces of information because I'm showing you the resume that you can use. <laughs> but, oh. okay. Um, that's really all right, impressive. I guess. Yeah, but it was impressive, yes. Um, okay, uh, now let's save the feedback for later. Uh, we're going to go to the next team. Okay, so the next team is... Uh, how do I go back from here? Just one second, stop sharing maybe. Okay, uh, let's go to the next team. Um, Kak Putri and... Uh, who is that? Hani. Kahan Mariani. Yes. Yeah. Kamarini, would you please turn on your camera? Uh, cannot turn on my camera, but I'm trying my best here. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So, Kaputri, what would you like to be here? The MC or the moderator? I'd like to be the MC. Okay, you're going to be the MC and Kat Mariani, you're going to be the moderator. All right. So the next event that we have here is uh, not this one. Oh, it's another event. Okay. Yeah, it's another event <laughs> with, oh my God, we've been with two <laughs> different resumes. <laughs> I know, it's surprising, right? We thought uh, it's surprising. Yes, uh, but I... Okay, let me just change the... 
You've been practicing, loh. You've been practicing. <laughs> With the Good same information. Okay, let's see this one. Okay. Okay. Uh, have I shared my screen? No. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Why? Why am I nervous? Why am I nervous now? <laughs> okay. Uh, do you guys Don't see me. my screen? No. Not. Yeah. Not, Not yet. yet. Okay. I forgot to start share my screen. All done. Uh, share screen. Yes. This one. Okay. So this is the event. Okay. Oh. Still the same? Uh, I don't think. I don't think so. Yeah, the it's... event is still the same, but oh. the, um, the CV is different. Okay, oh. the theme oh, and oh, also okay. the CVs are different. Okay, so. Okay. Kaputri, take yeah. it away. Yes. All right. Thank you, Dian. Okay. Hi, Jakartans. Welcome to this amazing event, Jakarta Celebration, or we can call it hashtag Jakarta Hajat. Then. And this is a special event celebrating the anniversary, uh, anniversary of the city of Jakarta in a ver variety of collaborative activities. And our um, tagline for this event is collaboration, acceleration, and elevation. So yeah, every June 22 is a celebration for Jakarta's birthday. And this year, Jakarta is entering its 495th year. Wow, that's amazing, right? Okay, so my name is Putri and I will be your MC for today's event. And we will start um, today's event by conducting discussion, um, which will be led by our moder moderator. It's Mariani Marcela. So, Mariani, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay. It's your turn. Um, okay, thank you Putri for the short introduction. So guys, um, just like Putri said, I will be your uh, moderator for tonight. So let me introduce our speaker. As um, today we celebrate Jakarta's day, so we have uh, come up with uh, the Betawinas figure. If you uh, wonder what is Betawinas figure, so um, he is one of the uh, famous actor um, lately, and he's originally from Jakarta. Since we celebrate Jakarta, right? And yeah, um, he's um, he's done some filmograph uh, film filmography. Sorry, guys. So, such a thanks, sister. Okay. <laughs> yes. Um, he's, uh, he's done some research that regarding to um, Indonesian public affair. So other than uh, public being public figure, he has another interest in public figure, I can say. And as you can see that uh, maybe some of us already know who he is. He, so he's one of the famous actor that starting uh, his career from since 2012. Okay, let's uh, okay, let's uh, welcome he. he... <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I forgot the name. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so let's welcome Dian. Okay, hi Dian. Hey. Wow. wow, 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 wow. The two teams were on fire. <laughs> okay, so as we're having our conductor here, would you please give them some constructive feedback on their, um, on their roles as an MC and also a moderator? Okay, not criticism, yeah. Constructive, uh, constructive <laughs> feedback. <laughs> So um, I think um, everybody, um, I like that everybody has, um, ha is brave enough to talk um, out loud, you know, um, but uh, I think it just proves that reading a CV is, it's not easy, right? Yep. It's not easy. That's why um, oh, you have to keep on rehearsing it. Uh, keep on re rehearsing uh, on reading the CV. Um, I think, um, how do I, where do I start? I don't think that any of 
the member um, mentioned about the 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 job uh, and also the work experience of the moderator of the uh, or the um, speaker you know uh, for instance if you have a CP like this you would like to mention uh, like uh, so our our and first thing first never mention the the name first right so our speaker has finished his bachelor degree in Institute Kesenian Jakarta and then he continued his study uh, and, and earn his Bachelor of Economics from Universitas Indonesia, uh, and then he got his Master of Economics from University of California. And even though he, he is an artist, he is also passionate about public affairs issue. Uh, therefore, uh, he has published some uh, several publications uh, on the same issue. Uh, and you may have seen uh, him on the TV, uh, on, the, on the screen, because he has played in uh, several uh, movie like Jakarta versus Everybody, Selamat Pagi Malam, and Sanubari Jakarta. And then uh, right now he is uh, very active in in Sanggar Lenong Jakarta and Theater Jakarta Luar Biasa as its founder. Please welcome Kak Dian. That's how uh, you uh, you read the CV. Um, supposedly, but it's okay because it's your first try and there's always a room of improvement for everyone. So keep up the good work. Ooh. Ooh, <laughs> thank you so Ooh. much for so much. such a wonderful uh, encouragement from Kak Rama here. Okay, so we have two minutes left. Um, I'm not going to say who I'm going to choose. It's going to be a surprise. So please get yourself ready for the main room. So I'm going to choose uh, one of you to be our representative and going to present our uh, our FGD session uh, discussion in the main room later. Okay, and thank you so much for Kak Mariani, Kak Putri, and also our fabulous, uh, the one and only Rama, Kak Hanan, Kak Joe, and also Kak Koko. I even haven't spoken to Kak Koko yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you, yeah. Kak Dian. Thank you, Kak Dian, for leading the discussion. The pleasure uh, is mine. So, Kak Rama, while we're waiting for the other participants, there is one more question. It's a quick question. Uh, based on your experience, which one is more difficult, being an MC alone or with a partner? More difficult. It's actually more difficult to have a partner, especially a partner um, that you have never been with. Uh, I personally would prefer to host an event alone simply because uh, I feel like I have all the control and I don't have to think about um, the, uh, you will say this and I will say this, you will uh, share about this and I will share about that, you know, just stuff like that, uh, more, ha more hazel, you know, but when I, when I do uh, like a solo MC, I take control, I have, um, I, I can, I can lead the discussion better because I know uh, better because it is my own style. If you, if, if it's, yeah, uh, not, not, um, here's the thing about chemistry. Um, I think all uh, master of ceremony are trained to be, not trained, most of us are very um, easygoing. That's why um, I, I actually, it only takes second to get the chemistry with um, most of my partners. Uh, it only takes seconds. Um, because, but it's just, uh, there are a lot of other stuff like uh, the compromising which part will I, uh, will I deliver and which part will they deliver and stuff like that. Just more hazel. So um, I like hosting uh, alone uh, better because it's just more simple. That's it. Okay, thank you so much, Karama. It seems that everybody has returned back to the main room. So, how was the discussion, everyone? Hi, guys. Um, hello. Amazing, amazing. Hello. amazing. It was great. Was it really? Yeah, really. 
Hey, I got a um, quick question. Uh, quick question. So, do you think reading a resume is easy or hard? Hard, of course. <laughs> 100% hard. It's not as simple as uh, you may thought, yeah? Yeah. But it's already written, right? You just get nervous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All, all of the points are already written there, but you, you, the nerves always got you. <laughs> okay, let's continue to the next session. Now it's time for us to demonstrate what we have discussed in the main room. So I will pick one group and that will be Kaarina's group. Kaarina, are you here? Yes, I'm here. So have you decided sorry. which will be your representative? Not yet. I'm so sorry. We're running out of time. So we just not finished to discuss who's going to be the representative. It's um, <laughs> my room is Kak, there is Kak Diki, Kak Rama, Kak Wulandari, and Kak Valen. So maybe Kak, Kak Rama and Kak Diki haven't got the time enough to practice. Maybe one of them could be the representative. Sure, Kak, Kak Diki. Okay, Kak. Uh, yeah. uh... I think uh, Kak Valen maybe or Kak Wulan would want to hear Spentate. Yeah, please, Kak Wulan or Kak Valen. Okay, Kak Wulan, Kak Valen. Let me share the screen. Wait, guys. Which uh, event did you choose? The first one or the second one? The second one, Kak Amanda. The second one, okay. Yeah. So, Kak Wulan, Kak Valen, go ahead. Uh, I'm sorry before if my my um, I'm become MC is bad. Yeah. No, okay. no Kak, Are it's okay. Ready, Kak Wulan? <laughs> ready or not, we have to refresh. Oh, <laughs> Harus ya, okay. Yeah. Okay, good night everyone. I hope you all in a good condition, ya. Yeah. And I am Valen, and I am so happy that I am here today with you guys in our lovely city birthday, Jakarta Hajatan. And today I'm not alone. I have friend who has well known as a news anchor and as a president of region and also a well known as a announcer. And she have many achievements in her life. Uh, she already become best supporting actress or actor in Festival Film Indonesia 2021. And she also uh, become a best actress or actor in Indonesian Movie Actor Awards 2021. And, he al and she also become a best newcomer on Festival Film Bandung 2019. Please welcome our moderator Kak Ulan Dari. Okay, uh, thank you Kak Palen. Good night everyone. Once again, welcome to this session. I feel it is a privilege to guide this discussion. Uh, the, the general topic about discussion today is about Jakarta Jakarta Hajatan Jakarta Hajatan and now let me introduce our panelists today uh, the first one is Kak Rama he is Indonesian actor dancer activist and former research who put his interest in public affairs issues. His education is a Master of Economic from University of California. He also uh, worked in some experiences like Sanggar Lenong, Jakarta, and without further ado, uh, please welcome Kak Rama. 
thank you. <laughs> thank you. That's actually really good. Thank you, Kak Valen and Kak Wulan for trying. Thank you, Kak Rama, for your guidance. Thank you so much, Kak Valen and Kak Wulan for the role play. And also, Kak Rama, would you like to see the other group? Sure, if you got time. Okay, one more group I will choose from Kak Arina. Or have I previously chosen Kak Arina? Okay, maybe from Kak Arif, Kak Arif's group. For my group, okay. So I also haven't pointed one of them. I will give the surprise for them. Probably I will um, choose Atika <laughs> because uh, she seems ready, right? Okay, Atika, give a best shot. Just me alone. I I'm alone. No, 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 no. You will have a partner. Yeah. I think it. I think it would be fun if uh, the partner is from the other group. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, okay. From Kak Beverly's group, Kak Atika's partner will be from Kak Beverly's group. Who is she, right. she actually? Oh my god, I'm so nervous. <laughs> All right, so uh, I haven't chosen anyone, honestly, but um, I would like to invite Yasri. Hi, Yasri, okay, so you there? So Atika will introduce Yasri. I am an MC, Kak Beverly. Uh, which one you are? No, oh, no, no. It's 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 uh, no problem. No problem at all. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, Atika. Uh, okay. So, who is my partner? Hi, Yasrin. It's gonna be Yasrin. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, just to be quick, Ka Atika will be the MC and Ka Yasrin will be the moderator. Okay. Okay. I will try. <laughs> Good luck. Yes. Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good, good evening, everyone. Um, welcome to the Jakarta Hajatan or Celebrate Jakarta. Um, uh, tonight, uh, we in, in the event reflecting, reflecting Jakarta's last years as Indonesia's capital. Okay, tonight, um, I will uh, introduce to you uh, our moderator tonight. She is an Indonesian journalist presenter and actor, and she is studying at Atma Jaya University, majoring in English education. And she works experience as a news, uh, news reporter and announcer. And she's a uh, half achievement too. She has Best Supporting Actress or Actor in Indonesian Movie Actor Award 2021, and Best Actress uh, in Festival Film Bandung 2019. Okay, we... We will call her uh, to Miss Yasrin. Time and place is yours. Okay, thank you, Ka, for your attention. Also, oh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Um, let me introduce. Eh, okay, sorry. So, um, as Ka, what is your name? <laughs> oh my God, I forgot. Oh, Atika. As Kathy said before that I, I am a moderator for tonight. So um, let me introduce you guys to our greatest uh, speaker tonight. So um, he is, wait a second. He is grad graduated uh, as a Bachelor of Art at Institut Kesenian Jakarta. And um, Oh my God. And uh, as we can see, as we can see that he had, has a lot of work experience. And uh, one more thing, uh, one thing that impressed me that he is a researcher. And, um, okay. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Okay, please welcome our greatest speaker tonight. <laughs> That's all, guys. Oh my god, I'm not prepared. That's all, that's all. It's enough. <laughs> Thank you, Kaya Atika and Kaya Astrin, for the amazing presentation. So back to our uh, Ka Beverly and also Ka Arif. Ka Rama, what do you think about the role play? 
Um, I think, uh, well, first of all, thank you for trying. Um, so, yeah, as I stated before, I think it just proves that reading a resume is not an easy thing to do. That's why we need to rehearse, rehearse, and rehearse um, because it is a very serious job, actually. Um, it might look like fun and simple, but it's actually it's very serious. And um, so I think I didn't mention something that is actually very important as well. So you want to um, you want to deliver the resume in chronological order. So when you when you um, when you um, for instance you want to uh, explain about the speaker's job experience, you would like to go from the um, from the past and then go to the future you know so uh, it all goes chron chronically uh, that's uh, that's and then I think I <laughs> it's very funny because most of you didn't mention any of the job like come on guys then what are you reading you didn't mention the job mean well actually resume is filled with jobs right uh, but you didn't read but it's okay because um, it's uh, there's a room of improvement and I I really hope that this uh, is uh, this will not make you scared to try uh, to be an MC and try to introduce um, somebody and read their resume um, on a webinar or a seminar um, I think that's it <laughs> that's all the all of the um, what is the feedback? All right. Thank you so much, Karama, for the feedback. Also, good job, everyone, for the outstanding performances. Uh, we have come to the end of the session. Unfortunately, I cannot choose all groups, but you guys are fantastic. Thank you so much for uh, coming to our class today. Uh, Karama, do you have any last remarks before we end this session? Yes, um, just quickly, but first thing first, I just want to ask, did every did uh, anyone had fun at the class at the FGD session? Please give a thumbs up. I hope everybody had fun tonight because um, I have something to show you guys. <clears throat> so um, I'm just going to end tonight's class with this quote. You will never know if you never try. So try and have fun while trying. I think um, oftentimes we are... Um, we are stuck in where we are because we are so afraid to try to do something new and to um, to go outside of our comfort zone. We keep on doing, uh, repeating something that we uh, we know we can do best and not um, trying to go outside of our comfort zone and actually um, improve our skill. So. If you have something in mind, whatever it is that you want to try, if you have the opportunity, try. Because opportunity doesn't come twice. So if you have the chance, try. And while you try that particular stuff, make sure that you have fun. Make sure that you are present so that if you make any mistake, you will know it right away and you can learn from it. And um, so that um, you will not be afraid to do anything uh, new in your life because you know that whatever you do, you, you do it with your heart and you have fun while doing it, <laughs> if that makes sense. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you have a great time. I, I hope you had a great time and you bring, and I hope that I have delivered something valuable uh, and insightful that you can apply in your life tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you, Karama. Thank you, Karama. Thank you so much, Karama. Thank you, Bridge Zoners, for joining our class today. Uh, don't forget to come to our Wednesday and Saturday class. Uh, we also have Wednesday and Saturday class. It's going to be awesome. And thank you so much for participating in our class today. Uh, thanks, Karama, for being an awesome conductor. Stay healthy, everyone. I'm Amanda signing out as your MC. See you. Take care, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Kak. Thank you, Kak Hana. Thank you, Kak Zaki. Thank you, Kak Nur Afni. Thank you, Kak Nita.